Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the shield, and, um, I decided if I was going to do this in a separate video or not, or an NBA news, but I'm just going to do this video separate. I uh, wait for the Dan Hurley news, and it just came out about, about 1.30 or so, and, um, and how I talked about the NBA news, he was, a it was a good offer, he turned, turned it down, uh, per, um, Woj, uh, Dan Hurley turns down an offer uh, to coach the Lakers, so the Lakers still don't have a coach. And he's staying at UConn. Guess it's time to find someone else to blame for the Lakers' failures. And it may be decided, maybe the Lakers weren't the right fit for him. You know, they were with LeBron, AD, maybe it wouldn't have been a good fit, but UConn fans are probably rejoicing right now. And that's good, because I feel like LeBron would have had him fired in a year or two. But they fumbled the freaking bag, man. But I feel like he saved his legacy, and he doesn't really need that pressure over there. Two straight national titles at UConn. And I don't think he'd win with the Lakers this year. And they'd probably fire him. But, um, here's the thing from Woj. A UConn head coach, Dan Hurley, has turned down the Los Angeles Lakers' six-year, $70 million offer. And we'll, and we'll return to chase the third straight national title. Sources tell Woj ESPN. I said in the, I said in the NBA news, I said it was going to be like a 70-30 chance that he returns. And then a 70% chance he returns, 30% he stays. Because I'm like, why would you leave to go to the Lakers when he might get fired in a year or two? I didn't say that, but I kind of had that feeling. If he went and wanted to go there and accepted that offer... He'd probably be fired in a year or two because they would scapegoat their, scapegoat their coach like they did to Frank Vogel. So I think it's a, the right choice to stay and chase a third straight title because I think UConn will be, once again, one of the top teams in the, in the nation. And I know you Lakers fans will be like, oh, he wasn't ready for the bright lights. No, he just likes winning and not getting fired in two years. He is ready for it. He just doesn't want to be another scapegoat. He didn't want to deal with LeBron's crap. This current squad is a shell of those teams. This isn't the Showtime or Shaq Kobe led Lakers. So, Dan Hurley's going for the 3 P and once again for the Lakers. Uh, he turned down this 11, this deal which turning down 11.67 million per year which would have been which would have been fifth highest among NBA coaches I mean I'm not surprised to feel it, but I thought he would have took the money honestly but I thought he would have been worth it but he does have a chance for a 3 peak too bad for the Lakers though um like, it swept away, I heard Woj, he said on his Twitter, it swept away as Hurley became by the Lakers' courtship and vision for him. He ultimately couldn't walk away from a chance to make a history and pursue a third straight NCAA title. Even before Lakers talks, Hurley had already had become, had, had a UConn offer to become one of the highest paid NCAA coaches those talks would continue. He's basically going to sign a long term, probably a big, big deal with UConn. And he didn't use the Lakers for money. But that's why, I mean, maybe he did, but that's why coaches talk and entertain job offers. It's nothing new. It's good for him, honestly. But they were talking about a new contract for Hurley within days of winning the title. Long before the Lakers. I'm sure this will help him. And he's not going to regret this. Some people will be like, oh, he'll regret it. Same to reality at some point. Lakers fans, your team's not as good as it used to be. He'll always have an opportunity to go to the NBA, but this might be his, this is probably his best chance because I am not seeing being a UConn lifer. But remember what, what what's gonna happen now? But now that I've talked about that, what's next for the Lakers? Uh, their head coaching job. You thought it was gonna be JJ Reddick? No. Because at one point you're like, oh, J.J. Reddick could have been the 
front runner, then you got Dan Hurley. Now, now goes back to what about JJ Redick? Maybe he's gonna wait till after the finals, but I don't know if JJ Redick wants to be head coach. And it's a tough decision for Dan Hurley, but he made the right choice. Running a college program is a lot different than an NBA team. And Hurley seems more so to lead young men than older pros and develop them to where they can go in the NBA. And uh, I think after that meeting on, that he had on Friday, he probably decided this wasn't the right move for him in his career, coaching career. And now he returns there to UConn and trying to lead team that will be ranked in the top five preseason polls for the program's uh, third consecutive national title. Something that hasn't been done since John Wooden's UCLA teams in the early 1970s. An obvious decision for Hurley, because you mean remember you saw Billy Donovan, what happened with him, um, and he was, and he was at least as good as Hurley, if not better. You go to the NBA and hear a stuck 500 roster and a mandatory farewell tour for LeBron, and your career just dies. So I think he made made the right move. Or but that's a good thing for college champions. And maybe I thought there was a I didn't think I thought there was a small chance he could leave for the Lakers, so I'm like I don't know. But good for him, smart move, doesn't mess with the Lakers. But yeah, it's really hard to say for this video, um ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, um until next time, have a lot. Peace.